Hey you've heard, it's Rekka, welcome back to more Pokemon Showdown Generation 7 Random Battles with C. Wafi. Quaffy? Quaffy! Is that what that's meant to be? Because that's pretty funny. Starting for the Gardevoir, here we are starting off with a Heatmore. In the back we've got Skarmory, Tapabulu, Keld Keldeo, Gigalith, and Pyroar. Okay, I'm liking these guys. Got two legendaries. I guess this is a... I don't know, I consider the Tapus legendaries, so... <laughs> Some people are going to get in my case for that. Um, if we knock off this Gardevoir, I mean, it's probably going to transform into... Um, it's going to Mega Revolve, that is. So, I don't know if it's actually best to knock off here. Actually, we're probably going to Fire Blast instead. I should have knocked off. It's going into Noivern. Can we get a burn here from the Fire Blast? No, unfortunately. But I'm going to continue... I'm going to yeah, go with my original plan and get a knock, knock it off. Knock it off, Noivern. I guess knock it off heat more. That sort of sounds uh, negative. Hurricane, don't confuse me, don't take damage. Yes, good job, heat more. So the assault vest is knocked off. Okay, that means they're going to do some more damage later this turn. Hopefully, this thing will miss the hurricane. No, it's going to Draco Meteor me. Okay, that means it's going to switch out next turn. Um, I was talking really quickly there, I apologize. But 243 speed. Um, nobody's really going to. Stand up to that, but he is gonna switch out. So, hmm. Okay, I know what we're gonna do. We're gonna go into Keldeo. This guy's gonna have to switch out, so we're gonna substitute. I mean, even if he doesn't switch out, the fact that we substitute means we're a little safe. He's gonna U-turn. That's fine. It's still switching out. Like I called. So. When we substitute, we're going to get a Calm Mind up, and unless, of course, there's a Pokemon that um, he switches into a Pokemon with Infiltrator, which throws a bit of a spanner in the works, but that's fine. We should be able to work around it, I guess. Keldeo is... Keldeo should be able to do fine. Okay, Wormadam. Perfect. Wormadam only has Anticipation and Overcoat, so we'll be fine. Uh, except there's really nothing I can do to it. So if I do Calm Mind, um, I should be able to restore a bit of thing from Leftovers. Giga Drain. <laughs> oh dear. Um, oh, let's see. Deals damage based on his target's defense. Now we're going to go with Skull. If we, if we can get a burn here, 30% chance burn, thank you very much. Quiver Dance. Ooh. Now's the time we use Secret Sword! Oh, that's beautiful! Except I don't know if Wormadam is... Well, now it probably has better special defense than it does uh, regular defense. But Secret Sword... Oh, baby, that's awesome. Because Wormadam's gonna go down next turn. Because he doesn't know. Secret Sword is... Oh, that's amazing. Oh, this was so good. Keldeo, you are amazing. But the speed! I didn't take speed into account. <laughs> Oh, I'm a little ahead of myself there, but that's fine. Because we're going to switch into Pyro. This guy's not going to be able to do anything against this Pyro, unless, of course, it's got like. Can Wobbin get like Sludge Bomb or something? I don't know. But we're going to Fire Blast it. And this thing's going to get like the heck out of here. Yeah, fire Blast. Alright, switching back into Noivern. Uh, can we fire. Can we get a burn on this guy? No, unfortunately. So I'm assuming a Draco Media is going to come my way. So. Let's switch into Tapu Bulu. Bang. Predicted like a god. Okay, but... The problem is... <laughs> Tapu Bulu is a um, grass type. But, since the grassy terrain uh, is a thing, I might be able to switch into Gigalith, because this guy's going to do a hurricane. So I'll be able to recover off any hurricane damage. And then, uh, thanks to the grassy terrain, since we're on the ground, and we get the sandstorm damage and the hurricane mist. This is beautiful. Okay. Um, well, I think just going in for a stone edge would be fine. Don't want to do anything too, um, too excess, do any excess fancy work with earthquake trying to predict people. Because sandstorm wasn't going to take down um, the Neuven in this turn anyway, so. 
It's not like I could have safely used Earthquake. But who's this guy going to switch into? Should pull and uh, chuck on the timer. Because I usually do that just for the sake of the recording. Switching back into Wormadam. This is going to land and that's going to take out the Wormadam. Alright. So we, we did a good thing. Unfortunately, Keldeo is down. I, I really like Keldeo. So, okay, a lowland executor. This is a dragon type. Um, Stone Edge. What do I have here? Ouch! That does so much damage! But so does. Okay. This thing probably has harvest as well. Yeah, it didn't frisk my um, item. Whatever item I had. The choice band. Yeah. Well, let's see. I mean, I pretty much survived thanks to that sandstorm buff, but... Okay, uh, Giga Drain, Giga Drain. Pretty much at a loss here. Like, with uh, Gigalith, there's nothing he can really do. Like, he's too slow to combat any other Pokemon coming out of the field. So... Alright, 122 speed, and it's pretty much dead if an Ice type attack hits it. But I don't have. This guy uses on Giga Drain. Now, I don't know if it has the. I don't know if it can get any other moves to combat Fairy types. Can he get like a? St I don't think he can get any Steel or Poison type moves. He might be able to get Sludge Bomb. But we're gonna risk using Type of Bulu and risk an 85% accurate Mega Horn, and hopefully take this guy out. Uh, no matter what he switches into, this yeah this um. Megahorn's gonna do a ton of damage because if he switches back into that Gardevoir, that's part psychic. Noiburn's pretty is at 10% health, so that's Noiburn down, and this Executor should be down as well. So I think we're in a good position right now, as long as we don't get pretty unlucky with that 15% chance of missing. But you know, if it does, that's fair game. It's it's all luck, all a bit of luck, because anything. Could have happened, I could have gotten, I could have not gotten like the burn on Wormadam, although I think that was... Necrozma! That's still super effective. 173 speed, however. Um, Necrozma, Necrozma, Necrozma. I'm just gonna go Megahorn again, I don't know what this guy, he, this guy could do like the, the, the Pry, Prismal, whatever it is, laser. Oh my goodness! Oh, Top of Bulu's gonna go down. Top of. Oh. Well, Pyro, you can save the day. Because I kind of want to use Top of Bulu. Because I think it will be able to outspeed Executor, so can the rest of my Pokemon. And it, it just packs a punch, which is important. But I don't know if you're gonna survive. Okay, good. You survived. Good. Good. Good Pyro. Grassy Terrain is gonna help. Of course, it's going to help the Necrozma as well, but that's fine. Uh, Dark Pulse is going to take out the Necrozma. And, uh, okay, we're still in still in a decent position. Uh, Life Orb is going to chip away, but we recover a bit of that from the grassy terrain. So, I think Noivern might come out. Yep, as predicted. Do I have a Sucker Punch at all? No, I don't. Um, Tapu Gulu. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. Is he gonna go for a Draco Meteor? Is he gonna go for a not a whirlwind, a hurricane? I'm gonna say he's gonna go for a hurricane. And it still hits me. Unfortunate. Well, Skarmory. This guy shouldn't be able to do anything to Skarmory. That steel is gonna resist pretty much anything he has to throw at us. And I'm just gonna break bird. Flamethrower! And a burn. That's fine. This guy's not going to survive. A brave bird at 10% from a Skarmory. You know, uh, Skarmory's attack was cut in half. That's fine. 149 speed. We should still be able to outspeed. I still don't know his third Pokemon. His last Pokemon is a Nine Tails. Oh no. Blizzard. That's going to take me out. And he's going to Blizzard my Tapu Bulu. Oh man. And that's game. Damn, good. Good game, Quaffy. Maybe you need to get some Quaffy to 
I don't know where I'm going with that at all. I mean, oh, actually, I probably could go for some coffee. I've been craving some for a while. But anyway, enough about coffee. We're going to go into another match because we need to get ourselves a win. So I'll be right back. And we're back with Staraptor Platinum. I agree with that. Staraptor is an amazing Pokemon, and Pokemon Platinum is my favorite Pokemon game. So, <laughs> alright. Explode. We can just Fire Blast this Bronzong. Coming in with the Swanner, that's fine. Can I get like a little burn? No, but that's alright. Um, choice specs. Okay. Wasn't expecting that. But we have a Mars Shadow, Tapu Koko, Wormadam, uh, and a Knock Towel. Well, there's not really anyone I can switch into, except for Tapu Koko. And I sort of want to, like, a safe switch into Tapu Koko. So. I think I might just go with Knock Towel. Knock Towel's pretty bulky. Especially, at least. But I think a Skulled Rain Dance. Okay. Well. Does this thing have hydration or something? Anyway, I'm going to Toxic the Swanner. kidding me there's no way he predicted I was using toxic but whatever uh, whirlwind bringing this one back in okay well I'm gonna air slash instead because he might switch out once again thinking I'm gonna toxic the swanner so let's see Okay, no, use Scald. That's fine, though, because it's not going to burn me. Uh, sorry, it, even if it does burn me, um, I'm a special attacker. Steelix. Okay, this is a Mega Steelix confirmed. Um, but it is slower than me, so I could maybe hope for some Air Slash hacks. But we'll have to we'll have to wait and see. I mean, was it, is it like a okay, so thirty percent chance? It's a lot higher than I expected it to be, which is good. But I'm pretty sure like a, a good strat back in the day was to use. I'm pretty sure it's still a decent strat now. Is to run um, like Togekiss with uh, Serene Grace and Air Slash because that's like a sixty six percent chance of flinching, which is absurd. So if I can get multiple flinches here, uh, Toxic is going to miss thankfully. And I think this Steelix has a Rock-type attack, so I don't know why he's not going for it. I mean, Steelix typically has Rock-type attacks, so he forfeited. Dang it, I wanted to use the x and the Tapu Koko, that w and the Mars Shadow as well. Like, I've never used a Mars Shadow before. Ah! I mean, I have one in my game, I got it from the event, and I'm excited, but I haven't actually touched Pokemon Moon in a while, so... Regardless, I think I might go for one more, just because that wasn't exactly the best. I mean, we did get a win, but it's not a good win, so I'll be right back. Can we get a good match? Let's see if Meatless can... Oh, no. Oh, no. You did not. Okay, well, this is going to be a Mega Glade, and it probably is like Night Slash. So, I'm going to go Psycho Boost. No! Oh, Houndoom, you are a little cheeky, cheeky Houndoom. Okay. Switching out into the Viper. I didn't even know. I, that wasn't a fit of rage. I didn't even mean to switch into the Viper. I probably needed to switch into something more preferable. Although, thankfully, the Fire Blast is, so that's fine. I do have Coil. I do have Sludge Wave. Sludge Wave does a lot of I did not expect Sludge Wave to do that much damage. Are you special or physical? You're both. Beautiful. Okay, well, Coil. <laughs> Whoops. That didn't go according to plan. But. Okay, well. Let's see. This is not good. Although, this guy have technician? Yes. That means Mark Punch is going to be 90. Okay, sweet. But Comfy is going to come out. That's fine. Um, can Com does Comfy even have, like, Fairy-type attacks? Every Comfy I've seen doesn't exactly have Fairy-type attacks. Well, we'll probably find that in just a second. It has Toxic. 
Who well, guess who else is toxic? My friend. Um, okay. I'm going to... Let's see. Go on to Charizard. Aromatherapy. Okay, well, it's going to cure that. That's fine. It's a waste of a turn for him. Mega Evolution into Charizard Y. Okay. Oh, I forget the stat changes in Charizard Y. Is Charizard Y more defensive or more... Well, the set is probably built for Charizard Y, so I'm going to... Focus Blast. U-turn, into Houndoom, into Houndoom. Yes, he did it, he did it. Okay, if I can get the Focus Blast, come on, hit, 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 hit. Yes, oh, the prediction. Oh, beautiful, that was a beautiful prediction. Bring in the Mag Cargo. Okay, this is gonna be, this is, this is gonna have a rock type attack. But, okay, so this is the special Charizard. Okay, that's good. Um, 182 special attack. Ooh, and that's 120 base, and I don't have to charge it up, so, do I risk it? Not to risk it. Solar Beam, not even half, okay, that was not worth it. Oh, the 1 HP, thank you very much for hanging on, Charizard. Okay, um, Ancient Power, Ancient Power. This guy is... Okay, I could maybe do some... Some interesting work with Roger Steel here. Ancient Power is going to do nothing. Leftovers is going to heal that off. But barely. Um, and we do have Rest in the back if all else fails. And we do have Sleep Talk to go with it. So I'm going to... Iron Head. We'll see how much that does. Flame... Flame Body. Well, that's... A little unfortunate. But what we can do is that we can curse a little bit. We are a family friendly YouTube channel, by the way. Oh my goodness. Well, that's probably thanks to the, fi to the fire? To the sun. So... Excuse me? Oh my goodness, curse lowered my speed. That didn't go according to plan at all. But what will go according to plan is the fact that... This mag cargo is going to go down to the solar beam. And we will be leveled, sort of, because Charizard is basically dead. Comfy, do you have, like, a... I'm not trusting this, by the way. Oh, it's also faster than me, so definitely not trusting it. Um... Jinx? Can you do something? Oh, that did way too much. This guy's gonna bring out Delayed and probably go for a close combat. Yep, he did. Okay, well, dry skin. Jinx, you have dry skin? Oh, that's unfortunate. Um, I could go for a lovely kiss, maybe. If I could land here, that'd be pretty lovely. Oh no! Never mind, you're mega, you're got a Galadite like I expected. Okay. Well. We could go for the Psycho Boost once again. Oh, you can have a Hooper! Oh, this keeps happening to me. <laughs> Ah! Okay, well, we're gonna Stealth Rock. He's just gonna Hyperspace Fury. I'm gonna hang on barely with that Focus Sash. His defenses are gonna fall. Sunlight has faded. I'm going to lose. Big time. Zen Headbutt. Wow! What a prediction! What? What? Mark Punch. Oh, the Mark Punch does so much damage. I just... 
Oh, I really hope that. Oh, round! Oh, I'm gonna lose! Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? Now, here's the thing do I go for Roost and try and recover some health? Or do I break the substitute and try sweep with you? No, Gallade probably has like a priority move. So I'm gonna have to try Roost. That's not. Oh, this is so. Oh, I lose. <laughs> Damn it! Oh, good game, boy. Good game, Meatless. Okay. Extreme speed. And that's the game. Hyperspace Fury to finish off. Damn. Oh, that's so painful being beat by a Gallade. But, you know, <laughs> it's whatever at the end of the day. Good game to all three opponents, especially Meatless, with that um, Hooper, Gallade, Comfy, Houndoom, Meg Cargo play the... Not play the day. Pretty sure. Actually, the first game had some pretty decent plays as well. But, yeah, that's going to be it for this video. It's quite a long one at that. So, if you did enjoy this video, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter for more updates. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!